sequence of like this whole thing being like I guess the reveal of Riddler's real plan, which that's where the movie feels like okay, now we're really into just a full on comic book movie. Um, so one quick question for everyone, I guess. I, I love the theories online that the thing that he shoots up with at the end is Venom. I thought that too, actually. I thought that too. I, totally, I, totally, I, I had that same thought. So, yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause, because the, the Venom story is actually something that leads up to the Cataclysm and then the No Man's Land in the comics. So it feels like, I mean, they've pretty much set up both Cataclysm and No Man's Land. Like with, with, yeah. with Gotham being in the state there is, it could pivot either way. Mm -hmm. But they could also go into the Venom story later just because I think it was just adrenaline. Uh, yeah, or, I think so too. It was bright that, green. If it was just it was bright green, Danny, yeah, I know. I tell you, it Mike. I tell you, it was Mike. Danny. It was venom. It was venom. <laughs> I've never yeah, seen the venom, so I don't know what color it is. <laughs> But that's the, like it's it's so it's so like not called out, right? Like yeah. it's so he just pulls this thing out and injects it into yeah. it. He he opens a little thing on his leg. Like, come on, it's so it's Bane. It's Bane. Just say it's Bane. Just give me Bane. Just say that it's Bane, Reeves. Come on. Man, that's yeah. a bold move though to go after a character that was done so well by Tom Hardy. I mean, because I, I think so Bane Schumacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, really, that Bane stands out as probably the best portrayal of him, and what he stands for is pretty great. But then again, that would yeah. fit in this world of what uh, people are fighting for. Mm -hmm. I just find you know, it neat that in both Moon Knight and in Batman, uh, the millionaire playboy personality isn't what anyone wants anymore. 